In this segment, we will show you how to cut and connect flanged duct and fittings. Some of these components may include the blue duct straight ductwork, elbows, and reducers that are flanged. This procedure will be the same for all blue duct flanged components, such as straight duct, elbow, reducer, or others. You will notice that all of the flanges are manufactured with a recessed line down the middle. This will serve as your guideline for where you should cut the flange. Use the circular saw with attached guide to cut the duct along the midsection of flange. If there is an excessive amount of tailings on any of the ducts or fittings that have been cut, remove the tailings using a utility knife. As the diameter of the duct increases, the number of flanges also increase and the spacing between the flanges decrease. The reason why we do this is for structural support as well as dramatically reducing the need for internal bracing. You need to be aware of the spacing between the flanges so that in your system a lateral run or a side saddle does not come off where a flange is. Now in our CAD design service we lay out a system that is specifically designed to minimize the occurrence of those fittings landing on a flange. If you need to cut in a fitting anywhere besides on a flange, please refer to our blue duct, non-flanged elbow duct and reducer video. Next, mount the drilling jig to the face of the flange. Use the 5 16 inch bit to drill new holes. Now remove the drilling jig from the flange. Take one duct and place it near the other duct to align the holes. Use alignment pins to insert into the ducts. The alignment pins will ensure the proper assembly of ducts. If the bolt holes do not align, Use the alignment strap to accurately align the bolt holes. Use your black marker to create a line on both ducts. Separate the ducts before liberally applying the blue duct sealant. It is important to only use the blue duct sealant provided by AQC Industries. Your warranty will be invalid with any other style of sealant. Apply two beads of the blue duct sealant. It should be applied to both flanges and around each hole. Make sure the application of sealant is generous. Now the ducts are ready to be connected. Install a bolt into each individual hole. Once that is complete, use a cordless drill with a 7 16 inch drive to tighten the bolts that are 90 degrees from one another. Next, liberally apply the blue duct sealant to both sides of the bolt to ensure a proper air seal.